Mobility is when one party wants to move with the child outside the jurisdiction that they ordinarily reside in, um, which could affect uh, access provisions in an order that is to be made or is already made. That could affect what we call a mobility issue, where the terms of that access order that's in place or to be made uh, will be changed because of one person's decision to move outside of the jurisdiction. Unfortunately, there is no set equation. It would make lawyers' lives very easy, and uh, if there were, and judges easier to determine if there was. But that's not the case. We look at the the entirety of a custody and access agreement as far as how often uh, access is occurring to know is the distance amongst the parties' homes, the two residences, doable or not in this situation. So often in my files, no, one of the negotiated uh, parts of agreement is within what radius the two uh, parents have to live in for this access agreement to work. So I've had ranges from 10 kilometers or 5 kilometers when it's an equal parenting time because it would not work if they lived 100 kilometers away from each other. There would be too much time in the car. To other situations where it's 40 kilometers, 80 or even 150 kilometers if the access provisions are not often. So it's really, if the parties can agree to something, then great. Otherwise, it's sometimes hard to advise clients because it's really up to the judge that day hearing your case whether it's doable or not and what is considered mobility or not. There is a test where we must advise our clients on a case called Gordon versus Gortz, which really outlines what judges will look at if mobility is an issue. There's no presumption about sole custodian parents being able to go where they want. There's a bunch of factors, and in a loose term we would use best interest of the child, but that case really outlines specific things such as what is the custody arrangement, because that is a factor to look at, um, what is the access arrangement, the disruption to the child about moving, what supports a parent would have or what job opportunities they would have somewhere else, and trying to look at the schedule to change to continue that maximum contact principle, what can or cannot be done. So there's many factors um, where literally you would have to look at that checklist and see, do I have more facts that would likely lead to being allowed to move or not? But ultimately, if you can't agree, you're leaving it up to the judge. So if someone's granted uh, moving uh, 100 kilometers versus 40 kilometers and access uh, costs aren't really affected too much by that, odds are it's not going to change anything. However, if there's a big move to a, a jurisdiction uh, of another country or really uh, on the other side of a province that's a significant amount of, of cost, there is a good chance and there is case law to support out there that child support will be reduced to factor in the added cost of travel that that parent will now have to take.